Job. Chapter 10 My soul is weary of my life. I will leave my complaint upon myself. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. I will say unto God, Do not condemn me. Show me wherefore thou contendest with me. Is it good unto thee that thou shouldest oppress, that thou shouldest despise the work of thine hands and shine upon the counsel of the wicked? Hast thou eyes of flesh, or seest thou as man seeth? Are thy days as the days of man? Are thy years as man's days? That thou inquirest after mine iniquity and searchest after my sin? Thou knowest that I am not wicked, and there is none that can deliver out of thine hand. Thine hands have made me and fashioned me together round about. Yet thou dost destroy me. Remember, I beseech thee, that thou hast made me as the clay, and wilt thou bring me into dust again? Hast thou not poured me out as milk and curdled me like cheese? Thou hast clothed me with skin and flesh, and hast fenced me with bones and sinews. Thou hast granted me life and favor, and thy visitation hath preserved my spirit. And these things hast thou hid in thine heart. I know that this is with thee. If I sin, then thou markest me, and thou wilt not acquit me from mine iniquity. If I be wicked, woe unto me, and if I be righteous, yet will I not lift up my head. I am full of confusion. Therefore, see thou mine affliction, for it increaseth. Thou huntest me as a fierce lion, and again thou showest thyself marvelous upon me. Thou renewest thy witness against me, and increasest thine indignation upon me. Changes and war are against me. Wherefore then hast thou brought me forth out of the womb? Oh, that I had given up the ghost, and no eye had seen me. I should have been as though I had not been. I should have been carried from the womb to the grave. Are not my days few? Cease then, and let me alone, that I may take comfort a little before I go, whence I shall not return, even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. The land of darkness is darkness itself, and of the shadow of death without any order, and where the light is as darkness. Chapter 11 Then answered Zophar, the Naamathite, and said, Should not the multitude of words be answered? And should a man full of talk be justified? Should thy lies make men hold their peace? And when thou mockest, shall no man make thee ashamed? For thou hast said, My doctrine is pure, and I am clean in thine eyes. But oh, that God would speak and open his lips against thee, and that he would show thee the secrets of wisdom, that they are double to that which is. Know, therefore, that God exacteth of thee less than thine iniquity deserveth. Canst thou by searching find out God? Canst thou find out the Almighty unto perfection? It is as high as heaven. What canst thou do? Deeper than hell. What canst thou know? The measure thereof is longer than the earth and broader than the sea. If he cut off and shut up or gather together, then who can hinder him? For he knoweth vain men, he seeth wickedness also. Will he not then consider it? For vain man would be wise, though man be born like a wild ass's colt. If thou prepare thine heart and stretch out thine hands toward him, if iniquity be in thine hand, Put it far away, and let not wickedness dwell in thy tabernacles. For then shalt thou lift up thy face without spot. Yea, thou shalt be steadfast, and shalt not fear. Because thou shalt forget thy misery, and remember it as waters that pass away. And thine age shall be clearer than the noonday. Thou shalt shine forth, thou shalt be as the morning. And thou shalt be secure, because there is hope. Yea, thou shalt dig about thee, and thou shalt take thy rest in safety. Also, 
Thou shalt lie down, and none shall make thee afraid. Yea, many shall make suit unto thee. But the eyes of the wicked shall fail, and they shall not escape, and their hope shall be as the giving up of the ghost. Chapter 12 And Job answered and said, No doubt, but ye are the people, and wisdom shall die with you. But I have understanding as well as you. I am not inferior to you. Yea, who knoweth not such things as these? I am as one mocked of his neighbor, who calleth upon God, and he answereth him. The just, upright man is laughed to scorn. He that is ready to slip with his feet is as a lamp despised in the thought of him that is at ease. The tabernacles of robbers prosper, and they that provoke God are secure, into whose hand God bringeth abundantly. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach thee, and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee, or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee, and the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thee. Who knoweth not in all these that the hand of the Lord hath wrought this? In whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind? Doth not the ear try words, and the mouth taste his meat? With the ancient is wisdom, and in length of days understanding. With him is wisdom and strength. He hath counsel and understanding. Behold, he breaketh down, and it cannot be built again. He shutteth up a man, and there can be no opening. Behold, he withholdeth the waters, and they dry up. Also he sendeth them out, and they overturn the earth. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. He leadeth counselors away spoiled, and maketh the judges fools. He looseth the bond of kings, and girdeth their loins with a girdle. He leadeth princes away spoiled, and overthroweth the mighty. He removeth away the speech of the trusty, and taketh away the understanding of the aged. He poureth contempt upon princes, and weakeneth the strength of the mighty. He discovereth deep things out of darkness, and bringeth out to light the shadow of death. He increaseth the nations, and destroyeth them. He enlargeth the nations, and straighteneth them again. He taketh away the heart of the chief of the people of the earth, and causeth them to wander in a wilderness where there is no way. They grope in the dark without light, and he maketh them to stagger like a drunken man. Chapter 13 And lo, mine eye hath seen all this, mine ear hath heard and understood it. What ye know, the same do I know also. I am not inferior unto you. Surely I would speak to the Almighty, and I desire to reason with God. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. Oh, that ye would altogether hold your peace, and it should be your wisdom. Hear now my reasoning, and hearken to the pleadings of my lips. Will ye speak wickedly for God, and talk deceitfully for Him? Will ye accept His person? Will ye contend for God? Is it good that he should search you out, or as one man mocketh another, do ye so mock him? He will surely reprove you, if ye do secretly accept persons. Shall not his excellency make you afraid, and his dread fall upon you? Your remembrances are like unto ashes, and your bodies to bodies of clay. Hold your peace, let me alone that I may speak, and let come on me what will. Wherefore do I take my flesh in my teeth and put my life in mine hand? Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain mine own ways before him. He also shall be my salvation, for an hypocrite shall not come before him. Hear diligently my speech and my declaration with your ears. Behold, now I have ordered my cause. I know that I shall be justified. Who is he that will plead with me? For now if I hold my tongue... I shall give up the ghost. Only do not two things unto me. Then will I not hide myself from thee. Withdraw thine hand far from me, and let not thy dread make me afraid. Then call thou, and I will answer. Or let me speak, and answer thou me. How many are mine iniquities and sins? Make me to know my transgression and my sin. Wherefore hidest thou thy face, and holdest me for thine enemy? Wilt thou break a leaf driven to and fro, and wilt thou pursue the dry stubble? For thou writest bitter things against me, and makest me to possess the iniquities of my youth. Thou puttest my feet also in the stocks, and lookest narrowly unto all my paths. 
Thou settest a print upon the heels of my feet, and he as a rotten thing consumeth as a garment that is moth-eaten. Chapter 14 Man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continueth not. And dost thou open thine eyes upon such an one and bringest me into judgment with thee? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as an hireling his day. For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stock thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of water it will bud, and bring forth boughs like a plant. But man dieth and wasteth away. Yea, man giveth up the ghost, and where is he? As the waters fail from the sea, and the flood decayeth and dryeth up, so man lieth down and riseth not, till the heavens be no more, they shall not awake, nor be raised out of their sleep. Oh, that thou wouldest hide me in the grave, that thou wouldest keep me secret until thy wrath be past, that thou wouldest appoint me a set time and remember me. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. Thou shalt call, and I will answer thee. Thou wilt have a desire to the work of thine hands, for now thou numberest my steps. Dost thou not watch over my sin? My transgression is sealed up in a bag, and thou sowest up mine iniquity. And surely the mountain falling cometh to naught, and the rock is removed out of his place. The waters where the stones, thou washest away the things which grow out of the dust of the earth and thou destroyest the hope of man. Thou prevailest forever against him, and he passeth. Thou changest his countenance, and sendest him away. His sons come to honor, and he knoweth it not. And they are brought low, but he perceiveth it not of them. But his flesh upon him shall have pain, and his soul within him shall mourn. Chapter 15 Then answered Eliphaz the Temanite, and said, should a wise man utter vain knowledge and fill his belly with the east wind? Should he reason with unprofitable talk, or with speeches wherewith he can do no good? Yea, thou castest off fear and restrainest prayer before God, for thy mouth uttereth thine iniquity, and thou choosest the tongue of the crafty. Thine own mouth condemneth thee, and not I. Yea, thine own lips testify against thee. Art thou the first man that was born, or wast thou made before the hills? Hast thou heard the secret of God, and dost thou restrain wisdom to thyself? What knowest thou that we know not? What understandest thou which is not in us? With us are both the gray-headed and very aged men, much elder than thy father. Are the consolations of God small with thee? Is there any secret thing with thee? Why doth thine heart carry thee away, and what do thy eyes wink at? That thou turnest thy spirit against God, and lettest such words go out of thy mouth. What is man, that he should be clean, and he which is born of a woman, that he should be righteous? Behold, he putteth no trust in his saints, yea, the heavens are not clean in his sight. How much more abominable and filthy is man, which drinketh iniquity like water? I will show thee. Hear me, and that which I have seen I will declare. Which wise men have told from their fathers, and have not hid it? Unto whom alone the earth was given, and no stranger passed among them? The wicked man travaileth with pain all his days, and the number of years is hidden to the oppressor. A dreadful sound is in his ears. In prosperity the destroyer shall come upon him. He believeth not that he shall return out of darkness and he is waited for of the sword. He wandereth abroad for bread, saying, Where is it? He knoweth that the day of darkness is ready at his hand. Trouble and anguish shall make him afraid. They shall prevail against him as a king ready to the battle. For he stretcheth out his hand against God, and strengtheneth himself against the Almighty. He runneth upon him, even on his neck, upon the thick bosses of his bucklers. 
because he covereth his face with his fatness, and maketh collops of fat on his flanks. And he dwelleth in desolate cities, and in houses which no man inhabiteth, which are ready to become heaps. He shall not be rich, neither shall his substance continue, neither shall he prolong the perfection thereof upon the earth. He shall not depart out of darkness, the flame shall dry up his branches, and by the breath of his mouth he shall go away. Let not him that is deceived trust in vanity, for vanity shall be his recompense. It shall be accomplished before his time, and his branch shall not be green. He shall shake off his unripe grape as the vine, and shall cast off his flower as the olive. For the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate, and fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. They conceive mischief, and bring forth vanity, and their belly prepareth deceit. Chapter 16 Then Job answered and said, I have heard many such things. Miserable comforters are ye all. Shall vain words have an end? Or what emboldeneth thee that thou answerest? I also could speak as ye do. If your soul were in my soul's stead, I could heap up words against you and shake mine head at you. But I would strengthen you with my mouth, and the moving of my lips would assuage your grief. Though I speak, my grief is not assuaged. And though I forbear, what am I eased? But now he hath made me weary. Thou hast made desolate all my company, and thou hast filled me with wrinkles, which is a witness against me, and my leanness rising up in me beareth witness to my face. He teareth me in his wrath who hateth me. He gnasheth upon me with his teeth. Mine enemy sharpeneth his eyes upon me. They have gaped upon me with their mouth. They have smitten me upon the cheek reproachfully. They have gathered themselves together against me. God hath delivered me to the ungodly and turned me over into the hands of the wicked. I was at ease, but he hath broken me asunder. He hath also taken me by my neck and shaken me to pieces and set me up for his mark. His archers compass me round about. He cleaveth my reins asunder and doth not spare. He poureth out my gall upon the ground. He breaketh me with breach upon breach. He runneth upon me like a giant. I have sewed sackcloth upon my skin and defiled my horn in the dust. My face is foul with weeping and my eyelids is the shadow of death. Not for any injustice in mine hands. Also my prayer is pure. O earth, cover not thou my blood and let my cry have no place. Also now behold my witnesses in heaven and my record is on high. My friends scorn me, but mine eye poureth out tears unto God. Oh, that one might plead for a man with God as a man pleadeth for his neighbor. When a few years are come, then I shall go the way whence I shall not return. Chapter 17 My breath is corrupt. My days are extinct. The graves are ready for me. Are there not mockers with me? And doth not mine eye continue in their provocation? Lay down now. Put me in a surety with thee. Who is he that will strike hands with me? For thou hast hid their heart from understanding. Therefore shalt thou not exalt them. He that speaketh flattery to his friends, even the eyes of his children shall fail. He hath made me also a byword of the people. And aforetime I was as a tabret. Mine eye also is dim by reason of sorrow, and all my members are as a shadow. Upright men shall be astonished at this. And the innocent shall stir up himself against the hypocrite. The righteous also shall hold on his way, and he that hath clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. But as for you all, do ye return and come now, for I cannot find one wise man among you. My days are past, my purposes are broken off, even the thoughts of my heart. They change the night into day. The light is short because of darkness. If I wait, the grave is mine house. I have made my bed in the darkness. I have said to corruption, Thou art my father, to the worm thou art my mother and my sister, and where is now my hope? As for my hope, who shall see it? They shall go down to the bars of the pit, when our rest together is in the dust. Chapter 18 Then answered Bildad the Shuhite, and said, How long will it be ere ye make an end of words? Mark, and afterwards we will speak. Wherefore are we counted as beasts, and reputed vile in your sight? 
he teareth himself in his anger. Shall the earth be forsaken for thee, and shall the rock be removed out of his place? Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candles shall be put out with him. The steps of his strength shall be straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. For he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare. The jinn shall take him by the heel, and the robbers shall prevail against him. The snare is laid for him in the ground, and a trap for him in the way. Terror shall make him afraid on every side, and shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger-bitten, and destruction shall be ready at his side. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. It shall dwell in his tabernacle, because it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. His roots shall be dried up beneath, and above shall his branch be cut off. His remembrance shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the street. He shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwellings. They that come after him shall be astonished at his day, as they that went before were affrighted. Surely such are the dwellings of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth not God.